Bonjour, hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for many years and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare in Gudan. And for today's video, I'm going to show you what I do in my PM routine, so in the evening. And before I start, I want to tell you a few things. So first of all, this routine is obviously tailored for my skin type and my skin needs. So I am in my mid uh, 30s. So basically it is very important for me to have a good anti-aging ingredient, which I'm going to talk about later on my routine. But, I'm the same, but at the same time, because I don't have um, yet any major sign of aging, I don't have any uh, dark spots, I don't have hyperpigmentation, um, I don't have major uh, wrinkles, uh, loss of elasticity, uh, and so on. So the whole idea of this routine in the evening is just to incorporate ingredients that are going to boost um, my skin to be in young mode, but not to correct um, anything. So you will see that it is a pretty gentle uh, routine. I don't do any harsh stuff simply because uh, I don't need it. Um, I think this is something that is very important to um, to understand is that if your skin doesn't need any potent treatment to treat, for example, uh, hyperpigmentation, uh, dark spots, deep wrinkles, uh, lots of uh, texture, it is important to have a routine that is not going to inflame your skin and to be um, very gentle and helps your skin to support it's a uh, need. Also, uh, my skin looks like this because of this routine, obviously, and because I've been using and wearing sunscreen for such a long time. And my other uh, top priority is also uh, moisturizing. For a very long time, I have moisturized really well my skin. And I do think that in terms of anti-aging, what works the best, especially with skincare, is by prevention. And prevention means moisturizing your skin like a crazy person and use your sunscreen uh, every single day. I've been using on myself sunscreen every single day, I think for almost 20 years now. And this is why uh, my skin looks like this at my um, age. It is because of um, all of this. Also, it's not because this routine works for me that it will necessarily work for you, but I will try to explain the different steps for you to be able to translate it um, for your own skin uh, type. So the last thing that I want to show you before we jump into the routine, especially for me in the evening, this is really the moment that I would like to unwind. So you will know that in on my channel, I always talk about, I would say, nerdy stuff or the science, and, I'm, and I think I look very serious. But at the same time, skincare is also a, a pleasure, a moment for myself that I like to take for myself. I don't necessarily um, take like hours to do my skincare routine, but in the evening, I think it, uh, I need at least uh, 15 minutes. And I spend uh, a lot, not a lot of time, but I spend like probably like five minutes on this thing to really uh, cleanse properly my skin. And then I like, like to go on my coach, have all my product and just take some time to use all those uh, products and just enjoy of the whole, the whole process because even though skincare can really like change the look of your skin, it is also just a moment for, for you to unwind, to distress and etc. So the first step in my evening routine is to simply um, cleanse my skin. So if you are not new and if you are new, please consider to subscribe to my channel. I love the double cleansing. So I have a few uh, products in constant uh, rotation. I do tend to, um, to choose them uh, mostly uh, how I feel. So this is not something that is uh, very scientific, it, just in terms of, uh, I would say, pleasure. So I have currently uh, maybe three products or four products. Uh, yeah, three uh, products on rotation as a first uh, cleanser. So the first one that I tend to use uh, the most currently, and I will have to buy soon a new one, this is the Curel, the Makeup Cleansing Gel. I love this stuff so much, it's like crazy. The other one is simply the oil from Curel that I really like. It is not necessarily my favorite one, but I, I really enjoy this one. It is fragrance free, super gentle on the skin. A new one that have been sent to me uh, in uh, PR that I also really enjoy is this one from Good Molecules. This is the Instant Cleansing Balm. So it does have a tea tree oil. So it has like this sort of botanical um, smell to it. 
I'm not against fragrance in terms of um, double cleansing simply because it is not a live on uh, product. So from time to time, I do use uh, a product with um, a fragrance. Obviously, if you are sensitive to them or allergic to them, don't use them even um, as um, a first cleanser. So the first product that I'm going to use for tonight is this cleansing gel. I love this stuff uh, so, so much. And then I will um, use a water-based cleanser. So I have three products in rotation as a water-based uh, cleanser. My beloved uh, matcha hemp hydrating cleanser. I love so, so much this stuff. My, my current uh, favorite tool is uh, the cleansing gel from um, Curel. So it is similar like to, to a known. I mean, you use it uh, similarly and then the Crave Beauty. Another option is the foam from Curel. Also, if you are following me, you know that I love uh, this stuff so, so much. It is so gentle. Um, also, if I feel that my skin is a little bit um, irritating and I want something super, super uh, gentle, I love the Extremely Gentle Lotion. Again, this is a product that you have seen so many times on, on my channel. So I do exfoliate my skin every Sunday. So usually on Monday evening, this is the time where I will have the um, gentlest uh, double cleansing. So for me, uh, it is something like that, the cleansing gel and then the extremely lotion. And this is what I'm going to do for uh, tonight. So I do use uh, quite a lot of product and this is um, important. So I distribute it as you, as you have seen on my hand first and then I put it all over my face and also on my neck and I use the tip of my fingers to massage in because I have a beard and if you have a beard you need to spend more time to massage in the product. <laughs> Now I'm going to rinse it uh, very quickly. Uh, after the first step, after an all kinds of a balm or a gel like this one, you don't need to rinse it very uh, thoroughly. I always do a super quick rinse. So my second cleanser for tonight is the Avin one. So I use it on damp skin. So because this one is super gentle, I use also um, quite a bit. If you're in France, it is uh, pretty inexpensive. I don't exactly remember how much, but this is um, not expensive at all. So what I like is that it is not really foaming, but it is uh, very slippery and milky on the skin. And again, with this one, I spend a little bit more time than I would with uh, a foam or a foaming uh, cleanser. I mean, I spend more time to massage the product in because the detergent are very, very gentle with this one. Again, I spend a little bit more time on my beard. And now I'm going to uh, rinse it. And this time I will rinse it very, very thoroughly. So I like to spend a lot of time to make sure that all the detergent are no longer on my skin. So after rinsing my face, I use a towel to pat dry um, my skin, very gentle. And just before I forget, uh, as you can see, I have a beautiful pimple in the middle of my forehead. This is also why I wanted to film this video. So for this one, what I'm going to do is to put um, a patch on top. And what I do is that I pat dry my skin and immediately I apply the patch. So the one that I'm using currently is the By Rich Trend, the Clear Skin Shield. Uh, Patch, uh, I think I will have to uh, also invest in the, I think it, Zizika or something like that, because salicylic acid under aquasives under a patch could be uh, super good. So I really like uh, those one from uh, Richard. So this is what I'm going to do off camera because I need to be close to the mirror to, to do it properly. So first I pat dry my face. So I have put the patch and before I forgot I use a tweezers to hold the patch uh, in front of the pimple because I do find it super practical. I don't like to use my fingers because I never aim at the middle. Anyway, use a tweezer. So usually uh, what I do immediately after um, washing my face, I pat it dry and immediately uh, I spray some water. 
Um, so the one that I like to use is the Hydrabio the, the Brum from Bioderma. So in English, this is the soothing refreshing water. Uh, this step is completely unnecessary and pretty uh, not useful, but I just show it to you. So the next step is of course toner. So currently I alternate between two. My favorite one, without any surprise, the Promom Lotion from Adelabo, five form of Yanonic Acid. Another one that I quite enjoy, it is a little bit too liquidy, but anyway, it's uh, the one from uh, Curel. The Mosa Lotion 3 and Rich, I really also uh, like this one. So this one is mainly, uh, if I recall correctly, glycerin and uh, alantoin. Pretty simple, but pretty um, efficient. I'm also testing another product from the Korean brand Slurp. This is the yellow fluid, but I've just been using it for uh, three nights. So for tonight, I'm using the Premium Lotion. I also apply it around my eyes. So yes, I was saying that I'm also using a new product that has been sent to me in uh, PR from um, the current brand uh, Slurp. And they have one, the yellow fruit, the first ingredient is erythritol, which is a sugar. And oh my God, this one is so, so humectant. It's uh, crazy. I really um, enjoy it. Anyway, so next step, and this, it depends if my skin feels uh, a little bit irritating, a little bit uh, too dry. I use this prayer from um, Aderma. This is the Cutel Gant, the refreshing spray ultra chemical. So basically this is um, capillary capric tree glycerid with uh, an um, oat extract. I really, really uh, like this one, super simple, very soothing. So the way that I use it, I, I spray a couple of it on my hand and then I distribute it all over my face. This is also actually an excellent moisturizer for those of you who have um, oily skin type, you can just use a little, because uh, it has those two triglycerides, it will um, provide you with uh, some ammonite. I really enjoy this product. If you do have um, eczema patches on your body, or also on your face actually, you can use um, this prep on the affected areas and then use a very thick uh, moisturizer without any perfume to really lock in um, everything. I really enjoy this uh, product. And immediately I don't wait between all those steps. So the toner and the spray, I don't wait. So my skin still feels very wet. This is when I'm going to use my beloved retinol. So currently I'm using the Ampool uh, A from SVR. I've talked quite a bit about this one. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So I use actually quite a bit. So two drops on my forehead. So this one contains 0.3% of retinol. So in my previous routine, if you do remember, I was using 1% um, retinol. What happens with my skin is that I am quite sensitive to uh, retinol. So basically with 1%, I can tolerate it, but my skin is always like on the edge, I would say. And because I'm testing so many products, so many new stuff, uh, I don't like my skin to be um, on the edge. Also something that you don't know about me is that I have a lot of allergies. I am also a little bit allergic to my dog. So it means that I uh, blew my nose uh, quite a lot. So my whole area around my, around my nose is quite irritating and I tend also to get red unless I take my uh, medication for my allergies. And in that case, I am less red anyway. Um, so yeah, what is important, like I said in the beginning, I don't have any major sign to sign of aging or any, I would say, skin, skin issues that I want to correct and change. So this is why I don't need a crazy amount of uh, retinoids. So I just want the proper concentration to keep my skin in a healthy mode, but at the same time, I don't want too much to irritate uh, my skin. So once I have applied my retinol on damp skin, as you have seen, I'm going to wait. So I, uh, I thought about this trick thanks to um, my friend uh, André. He's uh, We Are Bats on Instagram. His content is really, really excellent. Very, very uh, scientific, I have to say. 
And uh, he's the one who, um, who told me about applying retinoid on damp skin and I really like it. Also, another thing that is great with lower concentration of uh, retinol because I would not advise to do it with 1% retinol unless you want to really have like the full uh, strength uh, of it is that even when you apply a little bit because your skin is damp, you can uh, massage it well on your face. And this is something that is important because you don't want to have your retinol concentrated only on one place. You want an even coat all over your face, eyes included. Also, the downside of this product is that it does have um, perfume. Uh, for now, this is, um, I think, the only product with this concentration of retinol that I know of. I prefer this product over the Ordinary because the Ordinary one is not encapsulated, so therefore, I don't know how long it uh, lasts. Something else, also the packaging of this one is really not optimal, so keep it in a cupboard not in presence of light this is um this is important because you don't want your retinol to degrade so usually at this moment i wait for um, five minutes or something like that uh, before i jump to the next step and to the next active i just want to tell you that this routine is basically what i do from monday to saturday uh, if my skin is a little bit um, irritating what i would do is to, is to stop to use retinol for one day so usually i do it like monday to Friday and if I feel like my skin tends to be a little bit irritating it doesn't happen too much now but I, I don't use it on a Saturday and every Sunday evening this is the moment where I incorporate uh, my exfoliant in the form of acid the one that I use is the alpha lipoic acid at five percent I love this product so the way that I use it is after I double cleanse my skin I apply my toner and immediately the acid, this is the way when I want to have the full strength of acid. <clears throat> if I feel that my skin is too irritating, in that case, I will use um, this product or even my moisturizer and I will apply it on top to buffer the effect of the um, acid. It's always all about managing the set of inflammation of your skin. You don't want to inflame your skin if you don't need it, basically. So once I have let my retinol for roughly five minutes to really sink in, also what is important is that you don't want your skin to dry out in the process. What I also love about this uh, retinol is that it is quite Emollient, so currently my skin is still well moisturized. You don't want your skin to dry out during the process. So the next product that I'm going to use is a mix with a moisturizing milk and a derivative of vitamin C. So the milk that I'm currently using is this one from Curel, the Moisture Face Milk. I love this stuff. I have a full review on the Curel product. And one of the reasons why I love them so much is because they use a pseudo ceramide at a pretty high concentration. Of course, I don't know the exact concentration, but because it is very high in the list of ingredients, I do expect it to be uh, as high a concentration than what we usually find in the market. But anyway, so I use this one and then I use a derivative of a vitamin C. So I have two that I really love. Um, so yes, before I start, the derivative of vitamin C that I like and I do tend to recommend a lot is the Tetra Isopamitate form of vitamin C. I have an Instagram post about it, about the science behind it. But basically, in all the derivatives that we currently have, this is probably the one that is the most promising. What I love about this derivative is because it is a derivative, it is not formulated at a very low uh, pH, which is what I look for. If you're using a retinol, you cannot use an acid with a very low uh, pH. So the day that I use my alpha lipoic acid, I will skip my uh, retinol. One of, the, one of the reasons is because you can isomerize the retinol into cis retinol instead of trans retinol. This is very nerdy, but basically you increase the chances that you will um, degrade some of the retinol, which is not something uh, that you do want. Another thing that you need to take into account is simply the um, uh, your skin type. On my skin type, using an acid could be a little bit uh, problematic. I am planning actually to order, I think, the C15 from uh, Podachos, which is based on alascorbic acid, so the natural form of vitamin C. But in that case, I think I'm going to use it in the morning. I will keep you updated, but for now, I use um, the palmitide form. So one product that I do love, but again, it has perfume, so I don't really like this. This is from SVR, the Hydra Acid C20. 
the concentré éclat anti-rid d'antioxydants, so in English the radiance antioxidant anti rid co concentrate, so this one has 20% of the palmitate from a vitamin C. The other one that I also like is simply the one from the um, Ordinary. So the way that I use them, this one I use it like pure undiluted on, on my face. What I like about it is that it has a creamy consistency. It is diluting but not too much. The Ordinary feels quite greasy even though this is not a proper oil but Anyway, so I use uh, the palmitate form, a couple of drops usually, uh, almost four to five. I then use the milk from Curel. So this one, for whatever reasons, it is better to check it before you use it. And I do probably three pumps of it. I then mix it with my fingers and I apply it all over my face, eyes included. And what I love about this form of vitamin C, like I said, there it is gentle on the skin. Because every product with a very low pH, such as a good ascorbic acid, so the natural form of vitamin C, is also going to exfoliate your skin. And it's a little bit too much uh, for my skin type, and I also don't really um, need it. Also, a major plus of vitamin C, because I know that currently everybody is looking for, like, instant or I would say short-term results, you have dark spots, you want them to be a diminished la right away, but you also need to think like in long term, with, uh, especially with skincare, using an antioxidant, especially with vitamin C, I think the true power of vitamin C is not the brightening effect on the skin, like most people expect about it, also the excellent effect of vitamin C, it's the antioxidant activity, this is something that you want um, for your long term because this is going to help your skin to cope with the damage from uh, the environment obviously first of all the true antioxidant is uh, sunscreen so once i have done this uh, i also usually wait for three minutes something like that and then i go straight away with my final layer which is my moisturizer currently i have three different moisturizers on rotation i should say two <laughs> you will see why so the first one that i really enjoy this one the Bioderma, the CKBO Restore. I have also a really short video about it on my Instagram. I freaking love this uh, moisturizer. It is very simple. The texture is very, um, it feels really lightweight, but at the same time, it is very moisturizing, very gentle. But I don't know if you can see it. My dog played <laughs> with it. So I need to throw it away because basically it bites into uh, the tube. So I will need to repurchase it anyway. So. The other one is not going to be a surprise if you are following me for a very long time. It's the Perfect Gel from Adelabo. Oh my god, I love, love uh, this stuff. It also has like this sort of skin entertaining texture because it feels, it is actually a gel, so it's very pleasant uh, to use. It feels lightweight, but it is deeply um, hydrating and moisturizing. I love it so much. And the other one, um, it's the Curel, the Intensive Moisture Cream. Oh my god, this one so, so good. So probably because I've already shown this one on my channel, I'm going to use um, this one. So this one feels... How can I describe this one? It almost... It's a cream that turns into the gels and lotion-like. Again, it is so deeply moisturizing. I love it. So you will see that I don't really currently have a dedicated, dedicated eye cream. Actually, I do from time to time use um, also the one from uh, Bioderma. I don't have it here. This is the intensive eye. And what I like to do is at the end of my routine, I'm going to apply a very thick layer under my eyes for at least 20 minutes or something like that to really like plump the skin around my eyes. I really love to do this. Um, in terms of application, it is important to massage in the product. I saw so many tutorials of people like patting like that, super gentle. I mean, it is very pleasant to uh, look at it. This is not going to do anything. Remember that uh, your skin may look smooth, but if you take a microscope, you will see a lot of indentation. So you want all those small crevasses to be um, saturated with uh, product. Don't forget your neck, also the side behind your ears, over here. This is um, most of the time an area that you forgot. 
Don't forget also uh, all your décolleté. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if you know this, maybe everybody knows it, but décolleté is a fr the French word for this part of the body. And once I'm done, I always apply a little bit more where I tend to be more irritating. So for me, it's around here on this part and here on my nose because I tend to blow my nose like crazy. And then I go back on my area, especially over here where I tend to have those fine lines if I don't moisturize enough. And the last step, so I don't even blend it well. And I just pack on the moisturizer. And the last product is my lip product. So this is this one from Uriage. This is the Barrier Derm, the ointment, fissures and cracks. <laughs> Lovely. So this product, I have also a review about this one. It is not dedicated for, for the lips. I mean, it was not made for the lips. It is made like for all the crevices, like on top, uh, like on the tip of your fingers, for example. But actually it is the best lip balm that I've ever found. So you will feel that depending on the temperature, the texture could be very thick and hard and you need to, to spend a little bit more time to, to melt it. But try this one and your lips will be like transformed. Again, I go crazy about it and I tend to go overboard. And when you use uh, a pretty thick layer of it, even after 12 hours, when I woke up, I still have this uh, protective film on my lips and I love it so much. Comment on below and I hope you enjoy to spend this little time watching me doing my evening routine. I hope it will be useful for you. If you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget also to subscribe to my channel if you are new and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. I have plenty of stuff and increase on my story and etc. Again, thank you so, so much for being here. I love, love your support and I will see you next time for my morning routine. Bye-bye.